Hi, and welcome back to English with Fliss. Today, we'll be looking at the homophones draw and draw. But before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and that you can help my channel grow. So you will learn the difference between draw and draw and how to use these words correctly in sentences. So draw, D-R-A-W, is to produce a picture using lines or marks on a paper, on paper using a pencil or pen, etc. Um, I know you can draw on other mediums, other art mediums. This isn't an art channel. This is just an English channel. So um, that's just a brief example of what draw means. So we'll continue on. Um, another meaning of this word D-R-A-W is selecting names at random to decide a winner of a lottery or a raffle. Okay. There are a couple more meanings, so bear with me. It's a bit, a bit confusing, a bit annoying, but hey, it's a few less words you need to learn if you learn this one, right? Okay. So we've got um, drawing, picture, art. So we've got the art, picture drawing. We've got selecting names at random to decide a winner on the lottery, of a lottery or a raffle. Um, we've also got a game or race finishing with an even score. So two people, let's say it's a race, um, two people arrived at the finishing ribbon at the exact same time. That is a draw. And then we've got to push or pull something such as a vehicle to follow behind. Um, and then we've got to gain someone's attention. Okay. Draw their attention. So uh, that's crazy that there are so many meanings for this one word, D-R-A-W. Um, but that's, that's how it is. So let's get into it. I try to use every um, meaning in our sentence examples. I think I use them all. Um, so did you draw that? So we're talking about the art. Did you, did you create that picture? It's a draw. So like I said, two runners have made it to the finish line at the same time, or maybe you were playing a game which included, I don't know, counting and you both got to a hundred first. It's a draw. Um, look at that horse drawn carriage. So that was of the push or pull, a vehicle. I'll enter the draw. So that's the lottery or the, the raffle. I'll enter the draw. Usually it's Usually we talk about a raffle, but yes, a lottery is the same. I'll enter the draw. Um, the race ended in a draw, like I said before. Okay, now let's have a look at D-R-A-W-E-R. This one is much easier to remember. So if you remember this one, you shouldn't use the other one incorrectly. Well, you shouldn't use either incorrectly. So let's discuss it. So draw is a piece of furniture where you store your items. I don't know why it's spelled with the E-R on the end. I didn't create the word. It's, it's just the way it is. It's English. You know, there's no sense in English sometimes. So it's just something you need to remember. So it's a piece of furniture where you store your items. It can also be someone who draws. So an artist. Um, I've written down an example. We'll go into that. But typically we when we use this word in a sentence, typically it's for the furniture. Okay. So let's have a look at some examples. Which drawer holds the cutlery? Okay. Which, which piece of furniture, which pull out box like furniture holds our cutlery. I have a drawer for my socks. Okay. Same thing. She is a drawer. Okay. So what we're describing here in this sentence is the artist and we're actually calling her a drawer, him or her, whatever, a drawer. Okay. So she's a drawer. She draws. She's a drawer. Okay. But when we're talking about the furniture, it's just a drawer. It's not a drawer. It's a drawer. Okay. I wish I had more drawers in my kitchen. All right. So now we're going to test ourselves to solidify our knowledge. So um, I'll read these out to you. How long did it take? How long did this take to draw? It's in the second drawer. 
they're in my drawer. Oh, sorry, that's supposed to say it took me hours to draw that. So it took me hours to draw that, sorry. Um, and then I used little illustrations here because this was like kind of a trick question, not a trick question, but yeah. So can that drawer draw a set of drawers? Okay, so that's that, that's that last sentence. Can that drawer draw a set of drawers? So what I want you to do now is to pause the video, write these down and fill in the blank spots with the correct draw, D-R-A-W or D-R-A-W-E-R. Okay, so hopefully you remember what we said and if you can remember this particular one, you'll get it right. So let's see how you go. So I hope you've paused the video and you've had a chance to respond. Now let's have a look at the answers. So how long did this take to draw, D-R-A-W? It's in the second drawer, D-R-A-W-E-R. So we're talking about the furniture. They are in my drawers. Again, the furniture. Maybe someone asked where your pants are. They're in my drawers. It took me hours to draw that, D-R-A-W. Can that drawer, the artist, draw, D-R-A-W, a set of drawers, the furniture? How did you go with that one? I really want to know. All right. Now, our final little quiz. So again, pause the video, write these down, fill it in. So I think the game will end in a draw. The raffle draw will draw at 12 p.m. Should really be the raffle will be drawn at 12 p.m. However you want to answer it. Neither way is incorrect, but the raffle will be drawn at 12 p.m. Sounds better. Um, draw up a chair. So pull up a chair, but draw up a chair and draw his attention by waving. Okay. So you're trying to gain his attention by waving. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll look at the answers. Okay, so I hope you've paused the video and let's have a look at the answers. So I think this game will end in a draw, D-R-A-W. The raffle will be drawn at 12 p.m. So D-R-A-W-N, um, draw, D-R-A-W, so pull up a chair and draw his attention by waving, D-R-A-W. So... How did you go with all those? Did you get them all right? Did you get a few wrong? Do you need to improve a little bit more? How'd you go? Let me know in the comments down below. So in summary, I'm only gonna focus on D-R-A-W-E-R because there were so many meanings to D-R-A-W. And like I said before, if you remember this one, draw a piece of furniture where you store your items, you shouldn't really get D, you shouldn't really get them wrong, D-R-A-W and D-R-A-W-E-R. So the furniture always has E-R and, you know, the artist as well, but we're not focusing on that. And the pronunciation is actually different, drawer. Um, so this is draw a piece of furniture where you saw your items. If you remember that, you'll get them all correct. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video and you learned something new. Leave a comment down below of how you went, what you thought, um, what you might need help with for your own English skills because I can make a video for that. If you request one, I will most likely do it for you. Um, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my up upcoming videos and you can keep learning some awesome English with Fliss. All right, thanks. I'll see you next time.